Welcome to my August plan with me video. Please put your party hat on because this disco ball theme is going to be super fun. But before we get into my August setup, a flip through of my July spreads. I have to be honest with you, because of the chaos this month, I haven't touched my journal as much. Luckily, I predicted this and saved myself the time and the pages by not making weekly spreads. However, what I did do was fill three pages with colored blocks, where after this video, because of privacy reasons, I will print and cut out my favorite memories of the last month to memorize it by. And there we are, the start of August. I'm starting off the cover page with the outlines of the title. For this, I'm using my Micron in size 10. And with some editing magic, it's colored in. Now it's time to start on the disco balls. I'm using the light pink as the background color. I tried to keep most of the footage in real time to show you how fast it's actually created. It's really fast. the colors don't bleed into each other, I let the background dry for a bit and color the chair gray, which I will change later in this video. The fabric of the chair is colored in the bright blue color to make it pop. This time I start drawing with the squares in the disco ball, trying to divide them a bit but making sure it's not done too perfect. Same thing is what I'll be doing with the other colors. Sometimes I overlap the squares to make it feel more randomized. This part has been sped up a bit to not bore you completely. About the colors that I'm using in this setup. The bright colors are from the Tumble Good Vibes lettering set that has been gifted to me. I had the theme in my head for a while, but this set just completed the idea that I had and I made sure that all the puzzle pieces fit together. some empty spots and that's it for the coloring of the disco ball. To make sure that the ink later doesn't bleed, I'm letting it dry for a bit so I can add the line work later. Next up are the leaves. For this I'm using my muted green because I did not want it to take away from the bright colors in the disco ball. I'm drawing small droplets that will look like leaves and to create the same texture over the entirety of where the leaves are placed, I keep making the same shape instead of starting to just randomly color it in. that I realized that the chair 
was too bland and decided to change the gray color into yellow. This was possible because the gray I'd been using was very, very light. To create some extra texture in the leaves, I'm creating the same shapes with the same brush pen. Because you can layer tombows, it's darkening the color and it's great for creating depth. Now that it has been done, it's time to finalize the disco ball. I'm using my 0.2 fineliner and drawing the rounded lines to create extra depth in the disco ball. The lines that I made during the sketching process will be a guideline here. I'm doing this all very slowly to have more control over my movements. I also want to quickly talk about the journal that I'm using. I'm working in the April Showers journal from Archer and Olive. It's in this gorgeous lilac shade. If you want to have a journal like this as well, I do have an affiliate code. Use Amber's Notebooks 10 for 10% off your entire purchase, with which you can save some money and help me out as well. finishing touch I'm adding in some white on top to give it more of that reflection that of course the disco ball has. With some editing magic, the cover page has been cut and I will be working on the background of the Dutch door. Again, I'm starting with the background layer of the disco ball. Doing exactly the same as I did on the first ball, lining the bricks that I had sketched out with the light grey before, using the brush side for an imperfect look. All the elements together, I'm drawing some of the leaves and finalize the disco ball. To finalize it, I'm adding in the line work. Followed by the white accents. And voila, the cover page is finished. Because I know that in the drawing of the calendar, I have a plant that might stick out a little, I'm cutting the second page from the view of the calendar spread to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. This also allows me to measure with the cover page, so it nicely lines up and is perfectly hidden. Now it's all being cut, I can start with the spread. 
This time, I'm starting with erasing some of my sketch lines, followed by the plants. Because I knew that I wanted the leaves to overlap the disco ball, I wanted to start with those. Then I drew the stems and colored the plant pot yellow. To add some more details, I drew a shadow with the light gray. And now it's time for the disco balls. I'm doing exactly the same as I had before, so not to bore you, here is a time lapse. As soon as I finish the disco balls, I'm starting with the leaves. Followed by the titles on the background. And to finalize it all, I'm drawing the outlines with black. Adding in the finishing touches with white. With some more editing magic, the name of the month has been drawn. And then I'm using the brightest pink, yellow, and blue for the colored swatches. I decided to also use the yellow as the highlight. I did this because in my opinion, it would make the page as bright as possible. To finalize the page, I'm numbering the days and highlighting my birthday. <laughs> now the calendar is finished. Let's start with the quote and gratitude page. To keep this video a bit interesting, here is some editing magic for the disco balls. followed by drawing the vines and with more editing magic the quote follow the call of the disco ball and the title of the gratitude page have been done to finalize the quote page i'm drawing the line art and numbering the gratitude page Lastly, I'm drawing in all the yellow highlights Fixing a mistake I made by going over it with a white Polska pen and I'm adding in the final details of the disco ball with the same pen And there it is! My August 2022 bullet journal setup I am so happy with how this theme turned out. It's so fun, cheerful, and easy to make. I hope you like my video, and if you're new here, make sure to check out my other videos, and maybe like and subscribe? Comment down below what your birthday is, and maybe you find your birthday twin. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!